Hey everyone, Topher Crunch here, and we're back with another Scott Cawthorn classic. This is There Is No Pause Button. Um, 100,000 downloads on this one. Spikes, Dragons, and Lava Pits. Oh my! Start with up to 999 lives in this fast-paced action game where you would have only moments to react to what lies ahead. Spikes, Dragons, Lava Pits, and False Floors are just a few of the obstacles you'll encounter in your dash to finish. And when the sweat starts to fall and you need a break, just remember, there is no pause button. Let's check it out. Would you like this game to play music? Sure. Just lower it though. Alright. Ten's good. Touch to begin, there is no pause, so we cannot pause, we cannot stop, we cannot take a break, we cannot take a breather, water break, whatever you may call it. There is none of that. None. Normal. That's right, 999 lives. Arcade, what else is there? Mad Dash. Let's do arcade. How to play. Touch the screen to jump. Banging start here. 996 lives. I wonder if anyone's made it without dying. You cannot even pass that dude. Oh yeah. Woo! Oh dude, I hit jump. What's going on? Oh, this jump does not work. That's dead. I'm dead. Nine nine two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, get Cooper down. Bowser Cooper, whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah, baby. Level two. Oh, come on. Gotta get the hurdles. Oh, it's like pitfall, baby. You can't touch it at all? That's crazy. He's a genius, that Scott Cotham, and he comes up with a lot of fun, easy to make games. I mean, maybe it's that easy, but it definitely makes you want to play more and addict it. That's the guy I want when I was playing Flappy Bird. Couldn't put that stupid game down or uh, stick hero. That's another one. I never got to make a video for that one. Yeah, baby. No, we were right there. I don't know how many levels there are, but it seems like it's almost impossible to beat this game if there are, like, that many levels. Because you're gonna die at least once or twice in the for each level. You don't know what to expect. Come on! That's right, they said there was, uh, false boys. Yeah! No! Oh, I walked right into it. I forgot right after that X. That's where you want to go. Boop, baby! Ah! Oh. <laughs> it's, it's tough, man. You guys should check out his games. He's got a lot of cool games on uh, Android. Ah, oh, stupid Koopa. Bowser, whatever. I keep forgetting his damn name. I am doing amazing at this game. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Ooh, no! You bastard. This thing would have been a hit if it was on NES. If you made these games back in the day, man. 
I mean, even now, though, with the type of games they have out on PC or even Android or iOS, this little 8-bit, 8-bit games are still super popular. Or even Minecraft. My kids play the crap out of that game. It blows my mind how popular that game is, and there's not a lot to it. I mean, definitely it's creative, and you can have an imagination, and you can build all different type of crazy stuff, but... I'm just not getting it. But I started playing, um... Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris. That game is awesome if you like those... Like I said, like RTS's real time strategy. And it's like a bird's eye view. And there's, there's, uh, you know, there's gonna have your fights, with, like bosses and all that, which is, they got some really cool looking levels and um, boss fights. But there's a lot of cool puzzles, if you like puzzle solving in that game. I, can't, I haven't been able to put it down, like, non stop over the weekend just playing that. Um, I don't think it's that long though. And, uh, Bioshock Infinite, I got the, um, uh, the DLCs, uh, Burial at the Sea 1 and 2, and Clash of the, uh, Clash of the Clouds, and, what the hell's the other one that's in there? Um, Columbia's Finest, but it's not showing up on my, um, in the game, when you go to downloadable content, it's not showing that. I don't have no idea why. Someone else said the same thing in a post. I'm not sure what the deal is, the dealio. But, um, I love the Shot series. I kind of went backwards with them. I played, uh, the third one first, and was blown away by it. And I was like, I gotta go check out the other two. I actually got, um, System Shock. Uh, Irrational's first well, System Shock sh sh uh, System Shock 2 on Steam for a dollar, which was one of Irrational's uh, earlier games, and you could definitely tell it's got a Bioshock feel to it, or, or where Bioshock got a lot of their ideas from. Um, so when I get back to, I kind of skip around with games sometimes. You probably noticed that on my videos too. I may start making a series and I haven't been back to it, at least with like Lego, uh, Marvel Lego superheroes. Ah, uh, this is frustrating. Alright, I'm gonna have to end this here. And it's driving me nuts. Maybe come back to this and revisit it. Um, if you guys like it, hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Be sure to check out Scott. Cawthorn's um, videos, or his game, should I say, on Android, I'm not sure about iOS, and on Steam. Um, until next time, guys. Peace!